Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Uh, if you're coming back, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking it out. Today's a little walk and talk update. It's such a beautiful day out. And I'm at a place that when I used to skip school in high school, me and a buddy or a few friends would come down here to the Stars Cave in Burlington, Iowa. Kind of a neat little place. Sit on that a second. I doubt you can read all that, but if you can zoom in and read it, cool. If not, I'm sorry. Anyways, I don't know how many trails they have here. They probably had that on the sign. But there's a little cave back in here that you can't get into. They have it closed off. That me and Buddy actually. Before they closed it off, many, many years ago, or I think they had it closed off, but it opened up for a little bit for something. We snuck in for the first, I don't know, like 20 foot, really small cave. So that's been 40 years ago. <laughs> Not quite, but long time. Pretty little creek that runs through here. Some people may call it a river. I don't think it is, but for Southeast Iowa, it's a pretty neat place. It's not quite uh, Arkansas and Missouri, that's for sure, but it's a lot closer. So, I bet you're interested in hearing a little bit of an update. Still a little groggy from the weekend. Um, I also ate a little bit more than normal, partially because of the AFib. Um, I didn't want to restrict too much. Well, but with that, I couldn't eat any, I couldn't eat that much, which is a good thing. So, definitely below my normal, or what used to be my normal for intake. Uh... I guess I can flip this around if you want to look at my ugly mug. Don't know how that'll work, but so yeah, a little bit extra food than what I've been used to, and I feel eh, lethargic, achy today, and just not all that together amazing. This old silo is kind of neat. Let's see if we can flip this bad boy back around here. It's an old. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see it through there or not. Walk around here a little. It's an old silo over here. Just kind of interesting. I don't remember this path. Cut in two different ways there. You can kind of see the top. This doesn't have that great of a zoom. But yeah. Maybe I'll stay creek bed wise. See if we see anything cool there. This also used to never be concreted and such a nice path. That's beautiful scenery. Absolutely beautiful. So, anyways, groggy, achy feeling, kinda. And I don't know if that's because of the AFib or what it's because of, or the food, or both. That's pretty. I should almost go back and get my camera and take a picture of that. Don't know if you realize it or not, but I'm a photographer as well. I uh, own Mid-Iowa Photo. You'd think I'd be better at videography if I'm a photographer, but I'm getting better at it. Getting better at it, that's for sure. Holding this thing out's a extra exercise as well. But so with that grogginess and everything, and I realized yesterday after getting home and eating a little bit, I was exhausted. And again, that's probably because of the AFib, but I really did dislike how I felt. I missed how I was feeling after fasting for 
over 48 hours. Everything I can tell mentally gets sharper, more focused, more energy, wanting to get more accomplished and done for the things that I've neglected over the past few years. So with that, I think I'm gonna continue on fasting some. So, sorry, met somebody along the trail, figured I'd say hi to him. I enjoy doing that. Oh, we're just focusing everywhere else. Spin this back around, see how we do here. I don't know if you can see that background or not, but such a pretty little area down here. And I'm so surprised, this is lunchtime. Just think, if more people just skipped lunch and took that time to come out and get a little bit of nature, how good would that feel? Get a little walk in, get some fresh air in. One huge update though about fasting is after COVID, I lost a lot of my sense of smell on a lot of things, weird things. Um, skunks i couldn't smell skunks the way that i used to um after the rain that scent that you get after a rain that is just wonderful uh like off of a fresh alfalfa field lost it gone completely race fuel loved going to the races and uh being able to smell the Turbo blue burning. That's an old fuel, but yeah, I lost that. And after fasting some here, and I've regained some of that. Not all of it, not as good as what it used to be, but I've regained a fair bit of it. So I'm happy about that. Like I said, feeling, not feeling as peppy, as energetic and stuff as I was just by fasting. And I think my body is definitely in the middle of telling me that it's time to do what's right. And I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, there's a report out there that people had more heart attacks after they fasted. Well, that may be possible, but let's face it. Everybody who's been an excessive alcoholic for more than 30 years has weighed a quarter of a ton, almost been obese their entire life with sleep apnea for at least the past 20 years um, you know what let's be honest with ourselves I'm destined to have a heart attack no matter what or die of a stroke or something along those lines so I don't think it's really a I don't think it should hold me back I think me getting the weight off is much more important at this point in time that's why I'm doing as much as I can as far as educating myself, nutrition. I've not ran into this full bore uh, or just empty minded, you could say. We put a bridge in here to go over to the cave side. We used to years ago walk up through here. Let's just flip this around again. Wish there was a little easier flip than all the way up there. But I used to come down here and climb up this stone wall on the other side of the river. You get there. Ah, it looks like a rock face has changed. Somebody came down. But Anyways, how cool is that? So, with that said, it's 
today's going okay. Slight headache. Um, and I don't know what that's from. I'm drinking enough water. I've got enough sodium. Shoot, between last night and this morning, I've drank probably a gallon of water. Maybe I need to up that more. I'm not sure. It's so hard to, to tell these days what you need to and don't need to do. But going back through some history, I'll get into that another one. I think my body's been telling me a long time what to do and I haven't fully got the message, which is a challenge to understand things that you never really paid attention to. That probably doesn't make sense. Half the time away I talk doesn't make sense. I'm kind of weird that way, I guess. This is absolutely beautiful. If you noticed, the channel name changed. I'm gonna to put together a welcome video on that. I'm becoming more focused on what I want this channel to be, what I want to do, what I want the outcome to be, the people I wanna help, the people that I hope can hear my story because I know there's a lot of folks out there that can relate to it. <sighs> but, man, this is, let's flip this back around here. This is really nice down through here. And what's bad is my job gives me the freedom to do this. I am in such a great and beautiful position in life that if I I have the ability to make a reasonable income but I have the freedom to stop at any point in time in the day and go for a walk I have the freedom to travel and explore places I have reasonable family insurance. I can leave right now and head to go pick up my kids from school if I needed to. And nobody would ever say a thing about it. In fact, my boss, in some ways I don't like calling him that, he's, he's a friend of mine, he's pretty awesome, but would be mad at me if I didn't stop my day and go take care of my kids. It's a family owned business and I'm happy to be with where I'm at right now. Not many people can say that. <sighs> but I have another channel that's dedicated to that stuff. Anyways. I'll check this out. I don't recall ever seeing that cave up there. That dug out. I don't know if it's a cave or not. But that's my update for today. I'm gonna wander around a little bit more and then walk back to the vehicle. I'm glad you made it this far. If you did, you are a, a champion. You're amazing, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the comments. I wouldn't hit my stop record button. I could finish saying what I wanted to say. But anyways, thank you so much for all the comments, all the feedback, all the support and everything. I so greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a, an amazing day. If you made it this far, you are a champion. You are amazing. And I greatly appreciate it. Give me a fat thumbs up in the comment if you made it to here. It shows, shows a lot. Gives me a lot of support. Thanks. Bye.